Simple and Easy Nail Art by Trish Yan. Everyone always asks me who does my nails, but I do them myself, so let me show you a quick and easy way to do your own nail art. I'm going to show you how to do white polka dots on red nail polish. This is my version of the French manicure. It's classic and clean and goes with everything. It looks really good with pink nail polish too, but I'm going to take it off and show you with red nail polish. It's also going to make it easier for you to see. Remember to file your nails in a shape that complements your hands and your fingers. You're going to need these tools. They're rounded tip nail art sticks that you can get at your local beauty supply store. They usually come in a set of 4 or 5. As you can tell, I use mine a lot. One side is larger for larger dots. And the other side is much smaller as you can see. But we will be using the smaller side for the smaller dots. As you go along, the dots will become bigger and that's why I like using the smallest tip. Polka dots look amazing with red nail polish. And light pink too, that's my version of the French manicure. And it also looks great with hot pink. OPI is my favorite nail polish brand. The colors are rich, goes on smooth, and lasts the longest than all other brands that I've tried. But I'm going to use OPI's The Thriller Brazil, one of my favorite brands. First step, paint your nails. I usually like to minimize my paint strokes to 3 to 4 strokes per nail. Time for second coat. Okay, one hand done. Time for the other side. Again, OPI is great and goes on very smooth. Okay, I'm done painting. Time for top coat. You want to put the top coat on first before the white polka dot. Time for your white polish. If you don't have white nail polish, you can also use black nail polish. Black polka dots also look great. This is a trick of mine. Take a bottle of water and use the cap as your paint palette. Drop one drop of the white polish onto your cap. Start with the middle dot. It will keep your polka dots symmetrical. Dip the smallest tip into the white polish and gently press onto the middle of your nail. Try not to press the stick onto your nail too hard. It will create a dent in your nail polish and you don't want that. After the middle dot, I usually like to make the bottom or the top dot. You can always go back to make the dots bigger if you like, but if you like the size, you can move on to the next side. Next, place the dots between the middle and the bottom dots, but to the right, between the center of your nail and to the sides. Try to make it look as symmetrical as you can. I usually like to start with my pinky finger because, like I said earlier, the dots will get bigger as you go along. But I only started with my thumb because it's easier for you to see. When you first dip, the dots are much smaller, and that's why I like to start with my pinky. As you can see, the dots are getting bigger as I go along, and you can always go back and fix them if you want. Now finish your other nails. As you can see, the dots are getting bigger as I go along. Oh, and don't forget to clean your tips with a nail polish remover. It helps make the dots more round and more consistent. After you clean your sticks, you should also drop a fresh drop of white polish onto your cap too. I like to do my thumbs last because the dots are larger and the perfect size for your largest nail. That's it, one side is done. Now for my other side. Easy, right? Drawing the dots will get easier as you go along and in time, a breeze. Again, don't forget to clean your sticks with nail polish remover. The cleaner the tips, and the fresher the white nail polish, the rounder the polka dots will be. Voila! That's it! My polka dot nails get a lot of attention. Strangers on the street ask me all the time where I get my nails done. I hope I made it easy and simple for you.